it's only five o'clock in the morning and it's completely light outside. I'm here in the sauna chamber and I really wanted to check these, the situation here under the floorboards because some of the floorboards are caved in. There is a metal plate here, I guess, to cover. Maybe there's some broken boards underneath, but I wanted to remove this and check it out and if I need to fix something, so know what I need to get. Yeah, huh? there's a hole there. There is a hole there. I don't know if something was there, stuck, maybe a pole, or if it was just a, like a rat or a mouse that has made that hole. And there you can see how it has caved down in the corner. I guess there was a mouse here who has put a little grain away for the winter. <laughs> How many mouse nests will we find? All those pieces of wood has to be removed. So can... many small pieces. Aquí hay... Una piedra, no? No, es un tajo. Levanta todo. Yeah, this has to be taken out. There's so much grain here. Okay. Oh, it's just caca de algo. Oh, there was some animal there because there's poop from something. Nata, no? No, si es posiblemente. Un nata o algo. Some bigger animal. Sabes que yo tenía ganas ahora de vaciar todo que hay aquí. Voy a vaciar todo esto porque esto es lo que queda humedad y no es bueno. Todo eso que hay ahí en el fondo. Esto no está mordido esto. Estos no se pueden aprovechar mucho, eh. Los que tienen agujeros. They are stuck so well. Este va a ser mi proyecto de este verano. Voy a sacar todo esto. Ahí está. Y allá también hay cabos. Ay, vale. Esa tabla es súper ancha comparada con los otros. Ahora 
Vean en cuanto remiendo. Yo voy a sacar todo esto. ¿no? Este sí. Ahora se va a notar el damage. Y va a ser... Hay que hacer todo el suelo, ¿no ves? Y ese agujero que tiene ahí abierto, ¿está bien el agujero que debe sí, estar? Sí, está muy bien, tiene que tener. Sí, pero hay que tener una rejilla ahí para que no entre los animales. Ah, sí, eso sí. <ríe> Se puede poner una aquí en el lado de dentro. ¿Y qué va detrás del papel? Ahí. Yo voy a sacar eso también. Tenemos la tinta. Here you can see that corner of the plinth that I was fixing from the outside. There is still some mud there that I pushed inside this hole. I think that this damage is so extensive that it is best to just take out the whole floor. And I'm sure there are some holes under this metal plate as well. This wooden stove here, that weighs a lot, probably a hundred kilograms. So to move this is not the easiest and I don't, I'm not sure where we can move it. So. Let's just see what to do with this. So I decided that I'm going to remove all of the floor so that I can empty this sand and then figure out how bad it is. But I need to remove the walls as well. And uh, this wood burning stove, uh, we will put it for now somewhere here maybe in this corner i wanted to do this for a long time i want to see what's underneath here but all this paper all this paper can be used in the garden me gustaría sacarlo de un trozo grande para que se pueda después usar en el jardín Look, we managed to put it there in the corner, so 
Now we can remove the planks until there, but then we don't know what to do with this and where to put it. But it's very heavy. It's very, very heavy, yes. Maybe 300 feet. 300, oof. Imagine how much the other in the kitchen is. And here I wanted to make a bigger platform here to put it back. Teamwork. <laughs> oh, it's harder than it looks. And this was not planned at all. I was just supposed to vacuum and clean it up to sleep here. And then, uh, then we just check what's underneath the floorboards. And now we have taken the whole sauna, uh, sauna room apart. This will be the project for this summer, I guess. This stove here, it doesn't look very good. This was definitely not something that was planned, but it needed to be done. The floor was in very bad shape and you can see that it's not built very well. And there are some, some places that have some rotten wood and there's been animals here. So it's good to just make a nice sturdy bottom here to have the bed straight and then uh, those wallpapers they were so loose that I don't I don't think there's no way to get them straight so it's just better to take them off and these planks look all good there doesn't seem to be any mold or anything like that so so that's good but I guess now the plan for this is to shovel out all the dirt and debris from inside and uh, then I want to fix the base of the house, the plinth, uh, from both inside and outside. Then just big, uh, make some new joists here. Some of this was a bit flimsy, not the best. So yeah. Here around the chimney, this needs to be rebuilt. And, or maybe even take this hole apart and put a new one here with concrete. And then just big enough to put that wood burning stove there. I kind of like this patina on the walls. So I, I don't think I want to paint them white as I planned first. But let's see. Maybe instead this could just stay like this. Maybe make it even darker with some oil. And then instead paint these, the doors, with a lighter color. Maybe that would make sense, but it kind of looks nice to have this dark wood with this white tile. There's concrete here, but when you put concrete on top of this tile, it doesn't breathe and then it starts to crumble like this. So it would be better to use limestone on it. Here as well, you can see it has crumbled a little bit already. And I guess here they have tried to fix something quite badly. I will dig out this debris from here so we can see that what kind of state the plinth is in. And then it will be easier to repair it as well if needed. There is some rotting wood there in the corner. So some of these planks might need replacing. This is completely like in the air like this. So no wonder that and the floor was caved in. We need to put some animal netting there. Because you can just look straight out <laughs> from here. <laughs> it's going to be a dirty job to clean all this debris. And that was so heavy to move that we just had to leave it there for now. But once I fix this side, we can put it in its place. Or even better, if I, put, if I can make this base here, then that can go there. And then we can take away the rest of the planks. There's still enough planks to walk outside. 
and to the sauna. This cleaning session ended up being completely something else. <laughs> And now I bet this is going to take quite a long time to fix and make it nice again and livable. But it's also a good way to practice because the same thing has to be done also in the main house. So this is a good way to start in a small room like this and then continue in the main house. I will do my best to finish it at some point. This will be a really nice guest room as well. But now we are sweaty and tired, so it's a good time to heat up the sauna and get clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again next week. Have a great week. Bye bye.